Hello! In this Cadence customer success story, we travelled to London, just by the Shard, to a company called PyTop. They were doing educational talks and lessons for students that were interested in doing whole product design, not just a part, not just a little bit of programming or electronics, the whole thing. And while they were there, they used to see loads of Raspberry Pis piled up with loads of keyboards, loads of monitors and all sorts of stuff. And just for teaching, it was a nightmare. You'd have to pack them all away and, and wheel them off. So they decided to come up with a product that would um, enable you to have pretty much a laptop that you can slot the Raspberry Pi in. It's very cool. You'll love these guys. They use Cadence, the same software that if you're a student, you can get your hands on this software as well. It's really cool. Come and have a look at what they do. Hi guys, you're joining me here at a co-work space to excuse the ambient noise. Everyone's been really, really nice here. Um, we're down here at PyTop to have a look at these amazing laptops for the Raspberry Pi. Introduce yourself, guys. Hey, I'm Jesse, one of the co-founders. I'm Ryan, the other co-founder. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about why this came into being. What, what was the whole point of this? Well, um, we were looking at uh, at the hardware space. We were both really interested in Raspberry Pi. Thought it was a great learning tool, <clears throat> but we wanted to make a, a product that essentially made the whole process of learning with Raspberry Pi easier. Um, so that's why we came up with this all-in-one solution. Um, schools were really struggling with having to get HDMI screens, USB keyboards, mice, all that, and storage. Um, so we thought, make Raspberry Pi mobile. Superb. And how long did it take to do the initial design? How long, how long have you been working on it? Yeah, so we've been working on it for around nine months now. Uh, gone through quite a few iterations on the 3D print side specifically. Um, the electronics as well. Um, yeah. So inside there, there's a couple of couple of boards. Can you just talk us through the boards? Yeah, so here we've got the HDMI to LVDS uh, bridge PCB. Basically takes the HDMI signal from the Raspberry Pi and converts it to LVDS format, single channel. Um, that powers this uh, 720p screen. Um, over here we've got the power management board. Um, this takes care of charging the battery, switching between mains and backup power supplies, and providing the various different voltage levels uh, required in the laptop. Um, under here, you can't see it, but we've got a microcontroller, which basically scans this keyboard uh, matrix for, uh, scans the rows and columns um, for key presses, converts them to ASCII format, and sends them to USB, uh, to the Raspberry Pi. Also converts the PS2 trackpad to USB format. And then over here, we've got the Raspberry Pi and the battery. Superb. And how long does the battery last on this thing? It's around six to eight hours, depending cool. on usage. And the size screen was a? 1366 by 768. Okay, so 13.3 inch yeah. HD screen. Superb. The HDMI signals um, go onto the PCB, and because they're trans transition minimized uh, differential signaling, we basically need uh, the tools that Cadence has to work out the to match the trace lengths and also to keep them a set distance apart uh, to minimize EMI. Uh, and that's what Cadence is going to be really valuable for. And tell me part about the, the educational program that you're running. So you're going into universities and doing what? So at the moment we do quite a bit of educational sort of workshops. Um, we're doing our first large workshop at iMaker on the 19th of November. Um, <clears throat> and then we go around to schools, uh, teach kids about uh, hardware innovation and creation and how to actually create code things with the PyTop. Um, for example, we were recently in Birmingham and the way our lesson plans work is we like to focus on uh, teaching transferable skills. So in Birmingham we taught kids how to create an LED circuit, code it with the PyTop, and then using that transferable knowledge they were able to code and control robots. And that's the kind of thing that the online lesson plan will be teaching. We'll be going through foundation electronics, uh, th up through to advanced topics. Um, so you'll be learning how to create printed circuit boards, learning how to make 3D printed objects so that you can actually make great cases for your electronic components. Um, so the, the idea behind PyTop is essentially, well, and the l online lesson plans, is essentially to provide a great pathway to become an advanced, uh, to become advanced in, in, in hardware creation. Mm. 
Uh, Cadence has given away £20,000 worth of software to every student in the UK, uh, and now it's, that the project's been carried out throughout the world as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, they can, they can have yeah. their own copy of the same software that you're using. Um, are you going to release the, the Cadence files and stuff for this? Oh, it's all open source. Yeah. Yeah. Because we, want, we want people to understand all the components that go behind building yeah. a mobile computer, mm -hmm. um, so they'll literally be able to open them up, you know, modify them if they want. Um, awesome. It's all open source. Yeah, I mean, a, a big goal of ours is essentially to make hardware as accessible as software is yeah. right now. And I, I, I mean, I've just graduated this summer, um, and I wish that sort of stuff was available to me. Um, yeah. And especially with the Raspberry Pi, like I learned more <laughs> since I got the Raspberry Pi in my fourth year. I learned more using that than I, than I did in my entire <laughs> degree with the the other electronics. Um, it's just it's such a useful device, and if you couple that with the PCB creation to to interface with the Raspberry Pi, so just creating the power management, the, the screen drivers, it, it's 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 a really good learning experience. So yeah. it's, it's, it's great that you're offering that.